Hello, hi, how are you today? Today I wanna to talk to you about, are you noticing a lot of angry people around? But it's not just angry people. Angry people, grieving people, hostile people, unkind people, sad people, people in depression. What's going on? Part of what's going on is the unbonding of people with each other so that they can actually rebond in proper ways. That's a big part of it. But what does this mean for you when you're up against people that are being hostile or angry or irrational? It happens a lot around those lunatic times. Lunatic like get it lunar energy full moons new moons you're going to hear this a lot in the new moon energy that people are just like losing it they're losing their stuff they are like up to here they're being irrational for some reason now there is something you can do about it and it's something that I do on a daily basis and I have written it down I'm going to say it like this do my routine my routine is specific for people that are twin flames and you carry two energies and you don't want to be in a mood and you don't want your other half to be in a mood. What do you do? You start your day off right. That's one of the first things that you do. You focus on self-regulation. This doesn't mean white knuckling it and being like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to lose my stuff. Like everyone's being an idiot. They're being a jerk. How do you do this? You have to be able to begin letting your light body assist you. That is what it is wired for. That is why we have a brand new light body. That is why I'm here to teach people about their new light body, the integration of it. Get it expanded. Get it customized for you, for your life, how you like to live, where you like to go, how you like to eat, what all those things. And there's two of you that need to do that. Self-regulation, very important. Naturally, there can be things that happen, but what happens with people when they go through stuff. They want to trauma dump it. They want to dump it on people. Now I've had a lot of people around me lately who have been going through stuff. They won't say specifically what it is, but that's the universe pushing them to make changes, do better, be proactive. What do you do? You have to do that yourself. It's not enough to just say you do you and you're like, oh, I got to just, I'll do my thing. Be proactive. The next thing is some people know they need to break up their relationships, but they're not breaking up. I've had several people lately where they'd like to do anything but break up that relationship. They spin and they spin and they spin and they spin and then they trauma dump, trauma dump, trauma dump because they think everyone wants to be entertained with the boring details of their lives. That's not right. And so you have people that are already grieving the demise of their relationship. You have people that are angry that it's happening. You have people that are angry that they feel like they have no power over anything. And while there are a lot of disempowered people, part of how it can start to flip is by taking charge of the things that can, mainly things like self-regulation. What are you keeping clear away from your heart? If you think that your higher self doesn't want you to keep your heart and emotions clear for what really needs to come through, then you need to go back to ABC or you can get my routine here in my book. Foundations for Twin Flame Ascension. What could you do with 5D love support? What could you do with that infusion of 5D love on a daily basis that just gears you up for your day? And it's that simple. It's gearing you up so that come what may, whatever the day brings, you're ready for it. You're energetically ready for the day, not just mentally ready, not just where you have like your little checklist, like at this time I'm going to eat lunch. At this time, I got to go pick up kids. At this time, I got to go drop off this thing. Not like that. You have to be energetically ready for anything that comes up. That's why having the routine is so important. You will learn to open your crown and open up your further crown connections because there are levels of your crown chakra. You will learn to commune and it is not the same old meditation. A communion of your soul is much far beyond meditating. Meditating is much more solo. A communion of your soul means the mantle of your heart connections come down over you and envelop you and guide you and refresh you. And if you don't know how to do that, it's time to start learning. The oscillation effect. I have an initial primer in there for you to begin oscillating masculine feminine energy. This is a key important thing for 
alchemy. So when people talk about alchemical marriage, the alchemy of masculine and feminine, they're not telling you how to do it. I am telling you how to do it because it is a foundation. It is one of the foundational things of your twin flame ascension. So I also have in there what not to do on your journey. There are some things you shouldn't do or you should let go of. Maybe never nobody's ever told you, but I decided to make that a chapter because after 15 years of hearing some kind of bonehead moves people have made, I decided to make it very concise and focused so that people who were seeing it could be like, you know what, I, I think I'll steer clear of that. Because I have seen people spend an awful lot of effort on things that didn't amount to a hill of beans when it really came to their twin flame journey. And that's it straight up. You know, do you want proper, focused guidance, a concise thing, a routine to do? Then check it out. And check out my website at twinflamereconnection.com. Email us, book a session, have a coaching. That is what we do. Stay the course because I'm here to help. Have a great day. Bye.